Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Veeam Backup and Replication version 12 Tips and Tricks. Today I wanted to show you how you can add a different kind of servers to your Veeam with the VMs of course, so we can go to Add Server and we have either a vSphere or a Hyper-V. Since I'm using right now Hyper-V, so I'm gonna choose the Hyper-V option. From here you can either provide the IP address or the DNS name of the uh, Hyper-V server that you are actually using. So my Hyper-V uh, server is just named the Hypervisor. And from here you can either uh, choose if you have a SVMM to manage your uh, Hyper-V infrastructure you can pull a Hyper-V host and clusters information from here and add them to manage servers automatically. So basically I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna go with Microsoft Hyper-V server standalone because I have only one server at least for this presentation. If you have a cluster and a bunch of servers actually cl clustered, to, uh, clustered together in, uh, with, as nodes, uh, of course you will pick this option for cluster. But for this presentation I'm choosing the standalone serve. Okay, so now we're gonna choose the credentials for our Hyper-V server and I'm gonna be using, of course, our uh, Veeam uh, ADM, so this is my main account for uh, actually using and uh, controlling Veeam here. So I also needed to add this account locally on my hypervisor. So let's go to my hyper hyper V and let's check actually here. In, my, in the groups, if we go to administrators, locally we have this account added. So just remember, if you want to use this specific account that you created for Veeam as well in your domain, you have to add it locally. If you have more than two hypervisors, I suggest using group policy and doing it through group policy. Okay, so we have uh, our credentials selected, we can check the ports as well. These are the number of ports that are going to be used. And now we have all the things regarding the Hyper-V integration. So the Hyper-V ser server will act as a backup proxy for jobs running in the non-host backup mode. Task limit is 4, so we can choose, like, let's say, task limit. 20 all right depending on how many tasks you actually want to specify okay so basically now we have uh, in the Microsoft in the uh, virtual structure Microsoft Hyper-V standalone hosts we have our hypervisor and here is my virtual machine that I have on my hypervisor it's running right now and it has been added to Veeam and from here we can do a bunch of different options but for now, as always, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.